What up everybody, Instructor Beats back again here with another Instructor Beats lesson. Today we are taking a look at the science of exponents. This lesson is all about an introduction to exponents, what they are, and what they actually mean. So let's take a look at our objective today. All right, so our objective today, today you will be able to understand and write numbers in exponential form in standard form. And while we're learning that, we're gonna take a look at our first two laws or rules of exponents. So let's dive right in with some of the basics that we're gonna to need today. All right, so here's some background basics, right? You've learned this a long time ago, but multiplication is repeated addition. So when we look at four times five, really what we're thinking about is four groups of five, right? So this would be five plus five plus five plus five. You could also write down 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, but technically speaking, this multiplication equation is equal to this repeated addition equation. Now, when we take a look at exponents, exponents are going to be repeated multiplication. All right, so if we have 4 to the third power, that doesn't actually mean 4 times 3. This isn't multiplication. This is repeated multiplication, right? So this is really like starting with the one and then multiplying it times four times four times four, okay? And we're gonna learn a little bit about what this means, but four to the third power is really four times four times four. Now, I'm writing this one in here because technically that's what you're actually starting with before you multiply, but most people understand the identity property of multiplication, which is anything times one is itself. So typically you won't see it written like this, you'll just see it written as four times four times four. So that's the basics. I wanted to go back to multiplication being repeated addition, and now exponents are repeated multiplication. Let's take a look at some math vocabulary that we're gonna need for this entire unit. So here we have the same thing we just looked at, four to the third power. And this bottom number right here, that is called our base number. It's the number that we're going to be multiplying. All right, so pause the video and write that down in your notes if you're taking notes with us. Now this little number up here, right, the little teeny number, is called the exponent. Some people might uh, refer to it as other names that mean the same thing, but we're gonna be calling it the exponent in these lessons. And this tells you how many copies of the base number are going to be multiplied together, okay? So when I look at four to the third power, right, just like we looked at, that's really saying one, starting with one, and then times four times four times four. You can see right here that I have three copies of the base number that I'm multiplying together. And again, a lot of times you won't see this one, so you might just see it written as four times four times four, but it's gonna be really important later to help us understand a rule of exponents that when you're doing this, you're starting with the one and then multiplying it times three copies of four because that's what our exponent told us. Now, two other terms we're gonna be using today. When you write a number, four to the third power, okay, that's called exponential form. Exponential form is when you write a number with an exponent, right? So go ahead and pause the video and write that down. And then when you write what it actually is telling you to do, that is called expanded form, okay? So we have exponential form, we have expanded form, and over here, which you've been writing for a long time, if you're writing the value of four to the third power, you would write it using standard form. So four times four times four is 64, and then if we're just starting with the one, one times 64 is 64. So standard form, go ahead and write that down as well, is when you're writing the value, typically how we write numbers. All right, so you've heard me say four to the third power, Let's practice saying exponents correctly. So here I have the same base number four, just to keep it consistent, and I have exponent two, three, four, and 10. So you've heard me say four to the third power. How do we actually read this if we say other ones? So if it's four and my exponent's a two, you might hear people say four squared. You might say four to the second power or four to the power of two. So squared always means that this exponent is a two. So you've probably heard that a lot, right? But why does that work? Well, guess what? If I put down a square here, right? And my length is four and my width is four, it would make a square. That's one way I remember it, okay? So if my base is four, my exponent is three, I might call this one four cubed, 
4 to the third power or 4 to the power of 3. So you can see that 4 to the third power is very similar to 4 to the second power, right? So you can see that pattern. And then 4 to the power of 3 is similar to 4 to the power of 2. Obviously, we're just saying what the exponent is down here. 4 cubed is a little bit different. And I'm not going to try to draw it because my art's not great. But if you had a length of 4, a width of 4, and a height of 4, you would have a cube, right? Because it, because a cube's edges are all the same length. So that's how I remember that. So after squared and cubed, we really don't have any another fancy way to say these that people use all the time. So if the exponent is bigger than 2 and 3, we just say 4 to the 4th power or 4 to the power of 4, which means 4 if my exponent is 10, then I would say 4 to the 10th power or 4 to the power of 10. So just saying it, saying it with your chest, right, nice and deep, that's how we would read these exponents. All right, so let's go to the lab to learn some more about exponents. In the lab today, we are gonna be using a base of five, and then we're gonna be looking at some patterns as we raise that base to different powers. All right, so let's start with five to the fifth power, which we can see when we write it in expanded form, if we start with that one, and then we multiply that five times five times five times five times five, which gives us a total, right, or in standard form, uh, we would write that 3,125. So writing five to the fifth power is like a really lazy way of writing 3,125. They have the same value, right? And like I said, you're, you might even hear the total of 3,125 called the standard form because we typically write it like that, right? But if we wanna be lazy or if we're in a rush, we could write five to the fifth power and that's the exact same thing. So let's move on to five to the fourth power, which again is really starting with the one and then multiplying four copies of five, right? So we're multiplying five by itself four different times. So five times five times five times five. That's how we would write it using expanded form. And if we wrote the products of those numbers in standard form, that would be 625. All right, so let's do the next two quickly, just so we can move on. So five to the third power or five cubed written in expanded form would be starting with the one five times five times five, and then in standard form, that would be equal to 125, right? Looking at five squared, that would be starting with the one, and then two copies of five, so five times five, that would give us a total of 25 when we write it in standard form. All right, now let's get into some fun, okay? So if we raise five to the power of one, that means we're starting with one, but we only have, we're multiplying that by one copy of five, right? So one times five is just five. This leads us to a rule of exponents that we're actually gonna write down in a minute, right? But anything raised to the first power or the power of one is itself. So 88 raised to the power of one is just 88, right? That makes sense, all right? Now, before we take a look at this next one, we talked earlier that most people don't write the one at the beginning of their expanded form, right? In fact, I typically don't write that. It would kind of be like writing 0 2, 5 instead of just writing 25, right? It's kind of useless. It just takes time. It wastes your energy. Except it's going to help us understand this next part, okay? So let's take a look at 5 raised to a power of 0. Because if we're not careful, we might just assume that the standard form for this would be zero, right? Five to the zero power would be zero, but that would be wrong, okay? So the reason that we've been starting with one before we write our expanded form is to help us understand this point right here. When we're looking at exponents, it's really starting with one and then multiplying that base number repeatedly. Well, if the exponent is zero, that tells us that we have no copies of five that we're gonna multiply one by. It's not one times zero, it's one times no copies of five. So the value of one is just one. So the standard form for five to the zero power is just one. But let's pause and write these two rules or laws that we just learned down. So here's our first exponent rule, right? Anything raised to the power of one is itself. All right, we don't really need to name that. Some people call it a couple different things, but that's pretty basic, right? Something to remember. Now this next one, rule number two or law number two, 
anything raised to a power of zero is always one, right? And it goes back to understanding that expanded form. If my base number is 99, right? And I'm raising that to the zero power, that means I'm starting with one, and then I'm not multiplying it by any copies of 99, right? So 99 to the zero power would just be one. If I was doing 111 to the zero power, that means I'd be starting with one, and my exponents tell me I have no copies of 111 that I'm multiplying by, so one would just equal one. Now, a lot of people just memorize this because it's easy to memorize, but I want you to understand why this rule is true and why it works. And you know in math, we are very inventive, so we call this the zero exponent rule. <laughs> It's such a simple name, I had to say it cool to make it sound cool, right? So two exponent rules that we learned today, anything raised to the power of one is itself, and anything raised to a power of zero is always going to be one, and we call that law or rule the zero exponent rule. All right, so if you're new to Instructed Beats, we always have a you try section where you can try to apply the knowledge that you just learned, and then we go over to check it. All right, so this should be in your notes. If not, go ahead and pause the video and jot this down. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this exponential form, you're gonna say it and then write it down how you said it. You're gonna take it, write it in an expanded form, and then you're gonna tell us what the value would be in standard form, okay? So go ahead and pause the video, try these out, and then push play to check your work. All right, so hopefully you just paused it, but let's start with two to the third power. So for that one, we would say two to the third power or two to the power of three or even two cubed. Okay, I forgot to type that one, but that's also correct. If we wrote that in expanded form, right, my base number is two and then I should have three copies of that. So you could have either written down two times two times two or one times two times two times two. Either one is correct. And our standard form, the value of all these products multiplied together would just be eight. All right, so if you got that one right, let's check out the next one. Six to the fourth power, which if you said it correctly, could be six to the fourth power or six to the power of four. All right, so if you wrote that exponential form in expanded form to show what it means, your base number is six and you're multiplying four copies of that. There we go, so you could have wrote six times six times six times six, or you could have multiplied the one in front of it. Either way, you're gonna get the same answer. Or in standard form, we'd write that as 1,296. All right, this next one, we would have had 1,000 to the first power or 1,000 to the power of one. If you remembered our rule, right, 1,000 to the first power is just going to be itself because um, that's just 1,000. Or you could have written down one times 1,000 because you're always starting with one really, even though sometimes you don't write it. And obviously in standard form, that would be 1,000. All right, the next one, 99 to the zero power or 99 to the power of zero. This is our zero exponent rule, right? So in expanded form, that would just be one. And in standard form, that would just be one, right? Anything raised to the zero power is always one. And if you don't understand that, rewind this and watch what we talked about earlier again, or you could always Google it. All right, and our last one, we have four to the sixth power or four to the power of six. Our base number is four and we want six copies of that, right? So four times four times four would be three, times four times four times four, excuse my handwriting, that is terrible. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six copies or you could have even put the one in front of it. You don't have to, that's okay. And if you multiplied all those correctly in standard form, four to the sixth power would really be 4,000 96, all right? So hopefully you got those right. If not, don't worry about it. It's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. You can go back and rewatch our video. If our video is not working, go find another video that you could use, all right? That's totally fine too. We won't be offended. We just want you to be your best math self. As always, thank you so much for checking us out. We really appreciate it. We know there's lots of different options online. We'd love for you to subscribe. Check out our website at instructabeats.com for some awesome Instructed Beats merch. We love if you subscribe, like the video, comment, let us know where you're watching from. Again, thank you so much for checking us out. Instructor Beats, out.